know, it's occurred to me that all of my videos in Da Nang so far have only ever been at the beach and I've never actually shown you what the vibe is like just walking through the city. So you've got to just like people chilling on their bikes and if you can see you're in front of me, you'll see it as I walk past. Everyone just kind of hanging out. You've got the bike shops doing their thing. And I just had a bit of a realization that walking through here, as you can see it as the first bike you've got, that it's never been easier to do this. It's never actually been easier, maybe in like life ever, to just do the digital nomad thing. But if you're watching this right now and any digital nomads who also happen to be watching this video, comment down below just like, whether you agree, disagree, or whatever. But I think on literally every single metric, every single self-limiting belief that would stop you from just leaving your home country and moving out to Asia or South America or wherever else you want to kind of just be the nomad thing. I honestly think it's never been easier to do it. Before I came out here, I had so many preconceived notions on like what the difficulties would be. I thought it'd be too hot, I wouldn't be able to deal with it, I'd get food poisoning, the food would be really unhealthy for me, I'd run out of cash, there'd be no cash. What about my SIM card, the SIM data? Will I make any friends? Will I be living in the right places? Is it going to be safe? What about visa issues, travel issues? And ultimately, what you realize is that these are all things that have been solved because it's like a path through the snow, right? The first time you go through the snow, imagine you're snowed in. There's no path to go through because you're all completely stuck, right? So you have to like dig your way through the snow. The second time you go for it or someone else follows behind you, a path's already been cleared. So all of the problems that digital nomads had to face in the past have all kind of just been solved. For example, SIM cards, data. There are two options for this. You can just buy a SIM card or you can just get an eSIM like I have. So you just get an app, you buy data from an eSIM and it just connects to your phone. And you don't have to fuck around with different SIM cards, you don't have to fuck around with all this different stuff. And what you'll be shocked about, as with everything, is that it's three times cheaper than it is in the home country, which is brilliant. So that's all solved. Food, many of the Airbnbs that you'll be staying in have your own kitchen if you're diet conscious like I am. If not, you just kind of do stuff like this. There's a good boy and you can just take care of yourself like that plus if you really just wanted to talk it out and eat all of the good food that's out here like the authentic Vietnamese pho like the, the, the sandwiches everything it's like 50p per serving so you kind of pull out of control and get super full from that it's not as if these places are completely untapped and there's zero civilization here whatsoever which is what you're led to believe if you're in the west if you never left the west before there's still this preconceived notion that the west is so much further ahead than all these places here and that quite just simply isn't the case people have had to have to live here and make shit work this whole time but the infrastructure is surprisingly good you'd be surprised how well shit works here and it's your own western biases or at least mine i can only speak for myself which stopped me from thinking it's like oh like like the streets are incredibly walkable, everything's super clean. You know, for a former communist country, like you should be working all right. The trains run on time. Isn't that funny? Then you've got making friends. There's so many people who are out here now. All these networking groups. Basically, all these problems have been solved for you. Yeah, and the only thing that's stopping you from what you want to do in life is really your own self limiting beliefs. You don't believe what you see, you see what you believe. All the opportunities in front of you are there only through you believing that that's all that's in front of you. And if you had the focus and the eyes, the reticular activation system, very interesting concept to look up. If you had that dialed in and you're able to spot all these different things in front of you, then you'd be able to take it. You'd be able to kind of use your power to be able to take that opportunity that's in front of you rather than have it be something which passes you by because you just weren't focused on it. So instead of focusing on all of the problems that you might face before coming out, what if it was just like the easiest time in the world to be able to do it and there was no other better time than now to come out and live this lifestyle? Of course, I say there's three things you need to sort out. There's the cash flow, there's the actual coming out here where you're going to stay, and then there's the making sure you can maintain it and stay here. And with the cash flow being the hardest part to get solved, but even then that's been easy. It's never been easier to make money online. In fact, pretty much everyone's making money online these days. It's never been easier to find remote work if that's your job as well. It's never been easier to negotiate in your job to work it remotely because everyone's had to do it remote anyway. It's never been easier to make way more money than the economy can even sustain in the place that you end up going to, to the point where you can end up just living like an absolute king. A lifestyle you would never have access to if you were back in your home country. It's never been easier to have as many opportunities as possible to find a way to provide value to others, which is how you get paid, how you make money than anywhere else. And if all else fails, you can still come out here, document your whole journey, post it online, the platforms will push it out for you for free, and you end up attracting an audience who fucks with your vibe. I think that's just absolutely beautiful. I, I cannot believe you could just buy a gimbal, get your phone on the gimbal, press record on the front camera, 
walk around Da Nang, Vietnam, post it on YouTube, and everyone just kind of just sees your shit. You feel at ease walking around here, even with this camera out, this gimbal, my MacBook in my bag, all this gear that's on me, I feel completely safe. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing this in London, or even in Bristol to an extent. There'd be a certain sense of wariness and, and guard that I have to pull up if I was walking around like this. But one, it helps that I'm like two feet taller than the average man here in Vietnam, which is a funny story because the Airbnb host when she checks me in when I landed here. I asked her, you know, is there anything I should look out for here? Is it safe? And she just looked me up and down and went, for you? No, it'll be all right. And yeah, I felt that, which is cool. And it's been nice to be friendly to everyone. Break those first initial impressions that people have of people who are as big as me and just rock with that. But second of all, it's just not in the nature of the people here. It's just really not. Everyone's so laid back, they're chill. There's a sense of ease that you can't just put a price on. I'm, I'm not sure what I would even value it. It's a sense of like environmental safety that you only get when you know that nothing in your environment can really threaten you. And then you're only left with your self-limiting beliefs which is stopping you from doing what you want to do. It's not as if I'm dancing around around here breaking all the societal rules and norms here of course I'm respectful but at the same time you can get away with so much more because so much more isn't seen as something which is something you should avoid for example just like waving hello and smiling to people and have people smiling back at you not something I would do in the west very hard to break that social barrier whereas many people are friendly here even if they don't speak English we speak the language of being a human being who knows how to smile who doesn't mind their personal faith being too invaded just through a little bit of eye contact and a little bit of a wave that's something that's been pretty calming just to be seen and like not head the head nod and the mutual respect that happens between people when I'm here in their country greeting them being hospitable getting that in return all of that breeds that sense of safety which coming back to the point of the video means that path is laid out for you it really has never been easier to come through all of the problems all of the fears all of the things that's stopping people from taking that leap have already been solved in fact it's only ever going to get and this is what i love about being a digital nomad it's only ever going to get easier and easier and easier as more and more people adapt to this to the lifestyle i'm not going to get all political in the video but many nations as it were are turning more into economic zones rather than places of citizenship so people can just travel back and forth through and yes you may have a personal aversion to that i certainly do especially given my home country but given that that's the situation in the world at the moment it'd be remiss of me to not take advantage of the fact that I can just come to Vietnam for 45 days for free and live on 3x less the price whilst being in a test environment and still being able to earn a very decent income by, by running my business online. This sense of arbitrage and leverage is something that you should apply in literally all areas of your life. And if, and if you're someone who can work in the chaos of moving, or a better way of saying it is to tolerate the problems that come with being on the move, walking around, having to move different countries, traveling. Like if you want to lock in and lock in, I completely respect that and that's for some people. For me, it's always been a desire to check out these places because you only get one life, right? It, it would suck to have this sense of regret and open loop in your mind of, I wonder what would have happened if I traveled to Asia and documented everything building my business. I wonder what would happen if I did make that trip out or did close that open loop in my mind as I cross the road because it's completely like Frogger when you cross the road. There's no like crossings or anything at all. You just kind of got to send it. As you can see, the cars just go for it. So anyway, back to you guys. That open loop in your mind is so easy to close now. It's so accessible. You can just jump on the plane, send it over. I do highly recommend you close some of the open loops back home first. So you come out here with a clean conscious and you're not just feeling as if you're running away from all your problems, that you're on a mission to come out here and solve, that you're having to like remake your life and have to pretend you're someone you're not. Very open about what I've left behind and what I'm out here to do and reasons to come back and all of that type of stuff. I wouldn't recommend feeling as if this is a solution just to get rid of all the problems that you're facing back home. But just to say that it is an easy way to be able to travel and change your environment and move around. Way cheaper than you realize, way easier than you realize, way more hospitable, access to places to stay is cheap, food is cheap, the locations are great, you get a tan, you get gyms and saunas in them, you get massages for five pounds. All this stuff is just out here and you just gotta take it. There's the opportunity. Use this video if you're someone who's wanted to be a digital nomad. Use this video as confirmation that you can do it. It's completely possible. The only thing stopping you is your own mind and all the excuses you have in your mind is only gonna make the open loop just a lot more of a painful experience to have. I'm still adjusting to the altitude of being out here and saying like, oh shit, I actually like got on the plane, spent 12 hours sat in a chair.
there and now I'm on the other side of the world. Whilst loads of things of life have changed, things have stayed relatively the same. Nothing super drastic has happened. Everyone's okay. I could fly back if I had to. It's totally fine. Maybe I'll make more videos on what my day to day is, how I stay safe, how I make friends, what I do, where I go. But I think those are all problems which you look to try and solve when you're out here. Not necessarily something which you try and solve before you get here because you never know the gravity of the problems or even if it will be a problem in the first place unless you're out here first. Of course there's problems that I face when I'm out here but they're quickly solved and I couldn't have solved them if I was back home. It's all about just coming out here, getting your feet on the ground, getting your first month in, getting your first 30 days in and then you're good to go. Anyway, over to the cafe, get me a 56p mocha and get some work done. Maybe edit this video as well. That's the in the street. I'm here until the end of July, so expect more of this. I'll speak to you soon.